hello everybody welcome back and in today's video we are going to learn formula combination in excel and in this video we are going to combine sum offset and match formula and uh, calculate the result here in this ytd cells and uh, if you see here you can see a database of some products and their sales volume in different months this is our data and here in this in these cells we are going to calculate the ytd cells ytd means the year to date sales according to the values we give here if you see here here you can see drop down menu and from this drop down you can choose the month and from this drop down you can choose the product name and here in this cell we need to uh, display the ytd cells for example if i show you here here you can see the ytd cells is automatically calculated by using sum offset and match formula if you see here the sum offset and match formula is used and uh, based on the values we uh, choose from this drop down the result will auto change for example here you can see the sales of laptop the ytd sales of laptop till june month is 1 2 4 3 4 if you add the sales of laptop till june starting from january you can see it is 1 2 4 3 4 and it is displaying the result here if i change this product name to speaker you can see the value is auto changing and when i switch different months from this drop down you can see the value is changing if you see the sales of speaker for january and february is 4096 and it is calculating the result here so this three formula combination will dynamically calculate the ytd cells here in this cell by uh, cells according to the month we define here and according to the product we define here so let's begin how to use this uh, formula combination here to get the ytd cells and before starting writing the formula first of all i would like to request you to subscribe my channel so that you will never miss similar kind of video updates in future and if you like this video please press the like button and if you have any questions you can go to comment section below and write comments let's begin writing formula here by step by step procedure so first of all i am deleting this previously built formula from here then we will start writing the formula and if you don't know about these three formulas individually then you can go to previous videos in my channel where I have I have posted different videos for all these formulas so first of all learn these three formulas separately then it will be easier for you to understand this formula combination let's begin writing the formula here in the ytd cells and the formula will be equal to then first of all we need to write sum formula here equal to sum then bracket open then here in the number one we need to write the offset formula so write offset here offset then bracket open in this offset formula first of all we need to define the reference point so in the reference point click on this product name for the product so click on this a9 cell as a reference point then give a comma and here in this row we need to make this row formula we need to make this row dynamic because when we change product from here in this case according to the product we define here it should go to the row number which is given here so we need to make this row dynamic if this is not dynamic if it is a specific for, for example if a speaker is written here in that case we need to go to this is the row number 0 1 2 3 the speaker sales is given the third row starting from 0 from the reference point so in that case we need to write uh, 3 here as a row number but in this case we need to create a dynamic formula because when we change this speaker to television in that case the row number should change to 4 similarly if we change this product uh, refrigerator in, the, in that case the row number should be 5 so we need to make the row dynamic here and the, the dynamic row will be given by match formula so here write match match then bracket open now within the match formula first of all we need to define lookup value 
so the lookup value here in this case is the product name so we need to click on the product name here as a lookup value then give a comma and here in this lookup array we need to select this product name range in our data so select the product name range give a comma then here in the match type we need to type 0 for the exact match now close the bracket now this match formula will give us dynamic row now give a comma and here in this columns we need to write one so write one in the column because our data or the sales volume starts from column number one here this is the reference point is always counted at zero in the offset formula so this is column zero and this is column one I so show here in the columns we need to write one here then give a comma and here in the height we need to write again one because the the actual data starts from row number one here the product is given on the row number zero and the data is given on row number one that's why in the height we need to write one here then give a comma and here in the width we need to write another match formula which will make this month dynamic because when we change this month from here in that case the width should be dynamic if we change if we, if we choose February here in that case our width is uh, starting from 0 our width will be uh, 0 1 2 so if when we choose February here the width is 2 when we ch choose March in that case the width is 3 so we need to we need to make we need to make this width dynamic and to make the width dynamic we need to again write the match formula here so we start writing match bracket open then in the lookup value click on this month given here so click on the cell where the month is given then give a comma and here in this lookup array we need to select this month name range from january to december in this way then give a comma and here in the match type type 0 for the exact match then close bracket then we need to close another bracket which closes this offset formula then we need to close another bracket which will close the sum formula so close another bracket again now press enter and here you can see the result is calculated by this formula if you see the sales of speaker YTD sales of speaker till February is 4096 and if you add these two sales volumes then the result is uh, we need to add these two values and the result is 4096 which is calculated here if I change this month to suppose that September in this case you can see the value is auto changing because the YTD sales of speaker till the month of September is 19635 and the result is also 19635 for example if I change this product name to laptop in this case you can see the value is auto changing similarly if I change the name of the product to heater and you can see the sales YTD sales is automatically changing so in this way we combine sum formula offset and formula and match formula in Microsoft Excel to calculate values based on dynamic range and this was for today's video i hope you liked this video and if you like the video please press the like button and if you uh, want to get such kind of videos in future then please subscribe my channel and if you have any questions or comments you can go to comment section below and write it right in comments thank you very much for watching this video we will again meet on next video